Well, hello everyone and welcome. I'm back from sunny Queensland to freezing Melbourne. And I thought I'd come to you today with my latest make. I've only made one thing in the last two weeks and it was the clawed pants. I did make a purchase when I was in Queensland of a garment, highly unusual for me. And I'll show you all that in a moment. Well, hello everyone, I'm Deb and this is DB Designs and Sewing Australia. Welcome to all my subscribers and welcome to anybody who's new. I do hope you consider subscribing and liking. And a big thank you to all of those subscribers who bought me a coffee through my Kofi account. It is very much appreciated. And now, on to the latest. Well, first of all, let me tell you about Queensland. It's beautiful and sunny every single day. Um, it was 22 to 23 degrees every day and doesn't seem to have the chill factor that Melbourne has even at the same temperature. It's not windy there, even though we were right by the ocean. I will insert photos of um, our view from the balcony. We were right next to the beach, so I've got some views of the sun coming up. So it was a sunrise over the beach. And then some beautiful little birds that visited us on the balcony every single day. We ended up feeding them some, um, oh, I think it was keto cereal. And they just picked out the sunflower seeds in it, I think, and ate those, but they came and visited us every single day on the balcony and then one of the days I walked down to the beach so I'll insert some photo or actually I think I've got some video of the surf down at the beach not many people in the water a couple of surfers in there with wetsuits on and if you watched for long enough you could see whales coming up because uh, apparently it's a the humpback highway so the whales are all migrating. So caught, a so caught a couple of glimpses of whales, which was lovely. And my girlfriend was very, very surprised for her 60th birthday and we had a great time. We went out most days and she had hired a Tesla. And so we all drove around in that and it was fabulous. So had a wonderful, wonderful time in Queensland. I can understand why people from Melbourne, retired people from Melbourne, go up to Queensland every winter because it's dry and it's sunny. Whereas I think in Queensland in summer, it rains all of the time. But had a fabulous time. So on to what I've been making. Before I went away, I actually cut out the clawed pants which is by Stylark. So the clawed woven pants, which is this pattern here, looks quite high-waisted, not as high-waisted as I thought it would be. And I made a straight size 10 and I used a black colored Japanese wool suiting. It has a very slight stretch in it and it came from Homecraft Textiles. I must say, this is beautiful fabric, absolutely beautiful. Um, I have been pressing it with a rajah cloth to ensure that I don't get any shiny patches on it. And the pants came together really, really well. I will insert photos. The only thing I could say, it's got a very strange way of doing the waistband. So I'm not sure if I told you, I made the straight 10 and they fit. Decided I was not going to make things that are too big for me anymore. Really happy with them even in the hips, like they're much looser in the hips than they are through um, the waist and the tummy, but a very, very nice work pant if you were looking for work pants. Not that I'm looking for work pants, but these are very nice pants. Really happy with the fit has got a little cut out V, you see that, in the back of the waistband. And the waistband is a facing, 
So it's a faced waistband and it has your traditional type of hook that you get on slacks and I just used a skirt zip. One thing I did not have in my stash was a six inch black skirt zip. So I had to buy one, but really, really happy with the pants. Very nice pattern. Now you can see in the photo that they're quite cropped. So for me, they come down to the top of my short boots. Um, I don't really like seven eighths pants. I'm already short, so I don't need to look any shorter. So if you were really tall or taller than five foot four, and I suspect I'm probably much shorter than five foot four now. So if you were taller, I would check the length if you want them to be down to your ankles. They are quite tapered at the ankle. So I just did a hand hem. I overlocked the bottom edge and did a hand hem, but the pattern piece does have the hem added onto it as such. I'll show you what I mean. So you can see this line here, that's the hem line. So that when you fold it back up, it meets perfectly. You haven't got any excess or in some cases in narrow leg pants, not enough um, fabric to make a lovely neat hem. So nicely made pattern. As I said, the, um, the waistband is constructed in an odd way, but it still works out. I think next time I will just do the waistband myself. Still use the pattern pieces, but just create the waistband myself. So that's the clawed pants. Really, really happy with them. I have got them on with a few different outfits and one of them is this gorgeous jacket that I bought when I was in Queensland. I don't buy garments very often besides bras and undies and socks um, and maybe some active wear, which I should make, but I don't. Um, I bought this jacket. Now it's a crop jacket. It's fully lined. It's lined with a cotton and not with a silky type of lining, which I would prefer, but still it is a gorgeous jacket. The reason I bought it, because of the fabric. The fabric is really beautiful. Quite a textured fabric, as you can see, and a bit of open weave. So if you've ever got a very open weave fabric, you always need to line it, otherwise it's going to fall to pieces far too quickly. And it's got an asymmetrical neckline. So I'll show you what I mean by that. It's a crop jacket with a zip and it has um, pockets as well. Oops. So this is the collar. This is one side of the collar and this is the other side of the collar and it has a press stud that holds that together. So a very different type of neckline. Um, it's not a symmetrical neckline, it's an asymmetrical collar neck. So it's a, um, a two-piece sleeve and seems to be quite well made. Now the brand is... Orientique, naturally Australian, 100% cotton. And it's exclusively designed artwork. A unique patchwork of tropical florals and palm trees. 
and that is why it's beautiful fabric because an artist has designed it. I mean, artists probably design all fabrics, but it's a real patchwork look, but it's not a patchwork fabric. Let me see it better on the back. So really, really lovely. Don't very often buy any clothes. Too busy buying fabric to buy clothes. So that's what I've been making. That's what happened when I went to Queensland and the sale of our house has gone through. So I'm going to be moving. So that's exciting, although daunting when I look at how much stuff I've got. But I will keep you up to date in that, moving to country Victoria. And we're really thrilled and really happy about that. I don't know what I'm making next. Probably something wintry because it's freezing. So cold here. So that's going to be all from me today. What am I wearing? I am wearing my boiled wool vest in a pattern that I just made up because it's just a vest. And I don't have a button on it. Sometimes I wear it open, sometimes I don't. I've got a little, don't know if you can see that, sewing machine brooch that I sometimes wear with it. And the jumper is a something butterflies, batwing jumper that I made last year. And my purple cords in the True Bias Lander Pants. So that's all from me today. I've been actually going back to work a couple of days because I've got a lot of people away and a lot of people out sick. So I've been going and helping out there a couple of days a week. So it's eating into my time and it's going to be eating into my packing time. And before I can pack, I need to cull. I need to get rid of so many things. Not from my sewing room from the rest of my house. Anyway, anyway, everybody have a fabulous week. Hope you're all doing some fantastic sewing. I will be back soon with a demonstration of the way I insert a zip into jeans, but doing it in calico with different color threads so that you can see the process more clearly. So stay tuned for that. Everybody have a fabulous week. Bye.